Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome to another Yukon Bob video in the town this morning of Wyerton, Ontario. Spent the night at a motel here last night. I did a ride uh, to Tobermory along the Bruce Peninsula yesterday. You may have seen that video last week. Well, this week, uh, today, I'm going to be riding uh, the waters of Georgian Bay once again, but out of the town of Wyerton. Wyerton sound familiar? Remember Wyerton Willie? Shubanakity Sam, Punxsutawney Phil. This is one of those groundhog towns and uh, Ontario's claim to fame in Wyerton is Wyerton Willie, the groundhog that comes out and sees a shadow or doesn't see a shadow. I don't understand any of that, but that's what this town's famous for. Plus it's access to Georgian Bay. And we're gonna be riding the waters of Georgian Bay today. This is new territory for me today on Georgian Bay. I haven't been on these waters before, so I'm with the Sea Dew Tours riding group, a couple of the guys from the group. We're gonna head out shortly and let's see what we can find on Georgian Bay out of the town of Wyerton. So we've just taken a drive down to uh, the Wyerton public boat launch and uh, this is not looking very good. The wind is up and uh, the bay, which is maybe 10 miles long to get out to the end of the bay, it is rough. That is not gonna be any fun on a sea dew today at all. There's white caps out there. It's blowing pretty good. Now it is supposed to calm down, but that's not till about uh, two o'clock this afternoon. So this is just too much wind. Uh, that just is not gonna be any fun at all out there. The only option we've got now that we're thinking is that on the other side of the Bruce Peninsula, maybe on the other side of the peninsula with the land blocking the wind, which is blowing across the land coming from that direction, maybe right on the other side, it might be calmer. So that's only 20 minutes away. I think we're gonna take a drive over there and have a look on the other side to see if we can uh, get out on the other side of the peninsula because that's no good. That'll be way too rough. That's just not gonna be any fun. You'd just be bouncing, bouncing a lot out there. And it's, uh, it's uh, a ways to go in that condition. So that won't work. So we've come across the peninsula to the other side and uh, this is a, a public boat launch right here that we found. This is the Sobel River and the Sobel River will take you out onto Georgian Bay. So we've driven around a little bit and just had a quick look out at Georgian Bay. And yeah, it's better than it is on the other side. A little bit of, a little bit of chop on the water, but it's not uh, white caps out there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the sea dews in the water right here, all uh, four of them and go out and just give it a shot and see what we can do. If we can get out onto the, onto the big lake and go along the shoreline, then I guess that's what we'll do. So sometimes that's what you gotta do, plans change, and you gotta just kinda roll with it. So I'm gonna get everything unhooked here and uh, get these four machines into the water and we'll be ready to go. Right into all the scum. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Okay, so machines are just about all in the water. And then we're going to go down the Sobel River here. It's just around the bend there and you hit out onto Georgian Bay. So we'll see how that is out there. Guy in the paddleboard is heading out. So, but he may be just staying in the river. I don't know. Kind of a pretty spot around here. I've never been into the Sobel River. First time for me. Well, that was a bit of a process. 30 to 40 minutes just to get the parking situation figured out. We've all got uh, tickets on the dashboard now, so we're good for three hours. We didn't want to buy the, the full maximum, which is like $30, because uh, we don't know how long we're going to be out there. It could be a little too choppy, so we just put the minimum in. We're going to go from there. So we're just going to get assembled here on the Sobel River and head on out. Let's see what happens. So right here is where the uh, Sobel River meets Georgian Bay and that's where we're gonna head is out onto the waters over there. It doesn't look too bad from here so we'll see when we get out there what it's like but right from here it doesn't look all that bad. We might be okay. We booked three hours of time on the pay parking machine so that's gonna be our guide. We're gonna have to be back by just before two o'clock in the afternoon and it looks shallow right in here. Some rocks over there and a great big swan in the way up there. <laughs> right along here, this is the famous Sobel Beach. One of the best beaches in Ontario, they say. Beautiful sand all the way along. That is one 
very long sandy beach. The water out here is really beautiful. Nice and crystal clear, nice green color, and lots and lots of sand. Don't you get me wet, Greg. <laughs> so, there's a bunch of islands down that way. I think, you know, have, having never been here before, that's probably the area to go explore. It's down where those islands are and get out in, uh, in and amongst them and cruise around and see what the heck's out there. But I think just down the other way, it's just shoreline down that way. So islands somewhere out around the point down there, I think that's the direction we should go. Go out and see what we can find down there. What a beach. The what? Yeah, but the islands are that way. So the uh, conditions here are getting a little bit worse. So as you can see from that flag, the wind is blowing that direction. So maybe if we get around the backside of the islands over that way, we'll be uh, out of the wind a bit. Might be a little calmer back in there. I think it is. Kind of looks like it even from here. Big rock shelf right along the ledge here, along the shoreline. A lot of rock. It's funny how that works back around the corner where we just were in Sobble Beach. It's nothing but sand. And out here, it's nothing but rock all along the shoreline. One of those days, no matter which way you go, it's still blowing, there's still wind. <laughs> We're on the backside of the islands now and it's still kind of choppy and windy out here. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's the guys just over there. I don't know, maybe it'll calm down in a couple hours, but right now it's pretty choppy out here. All right. So as often happens on these trips, we decided to go north up to these islands. Now that we're up in the islands, everybody wants to go back to where we started from, back to Aloxable Beach, because actually it was a little calmer maybe back there, wasn't it? A lot better. So, you know, you, you, you try something and you check it out and you see what happens and if it doesn't work out, then you go to plan B. So that's what we'll do. We'll turn around and we'll, we'll go back a ways and head back to the sandy beach close to where we put in. Watercolor is beautiful though. It's really nice out here. Air temperature is pretty warm too, but uh, just a little bit choppy. Anyway, we'll turn around, we'll head back towards Sobble Beach and cruise along that area for a little while. A little bit of rough water between here and there, but not too bad.
Oh, we're being visited by the police. What is it you want to see? You have your pleasure craft operator's car. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta dig through shit to get it. Ugh, they want to see, for YouTube audience, this is a visit by the OPP police. They want to see the pleasure craft operating license, license for the vessel. So I've got that. I've got to dig through to find it here. Uh, yeah. Pleasure craft operator. You guys hold it up for me. Yeah. Does that look like it? Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Good. Thanks. Now just a routine check on the water to see that you. Oh shit! So the thing just blew out of my hand into the water, but it's in the plastic bag, so I don't think it got too wet. I got it back. All right, guys. See you later. I think it did get a little bit wet. Just open that up a little bit. Let that dry. That's the first time since I've been sea doing in 2018 that I've ever been stopped by the police on the water. So that's the Ontario Provincial Police uh, just out uh, for a nice little cruise around themselves today, checking out the pleasure craft on the water. Oh, that is pretty cold. I'm not sure how much water or how much uh, this water warms up later on in the summer in July and August, but towards the end of June, that water is still pretty cold. You wouldn't want to be swimming in that. Very cold. Alrighty, I think the plan now is just to uh, head a little bit further down along the shoreline. It's just not that much uh, exciting stuff out here. It's just, it's just the shoreline, especially after the ride I did yesterday, which was the Tobermory ride with all that beautiful, beautiful scenery. It's a little more bland over on this side. But uh, we're just going to take a ride down over to that point. There seems to be some sort of rock formation down there we're going to go have a look at. Then turn around, go back, load up, have lunch, and uh, see if we put back in over on the other side again of the Bruce Peninsula later this afternoon in the Wyerton area or whether we just call it a day. Uh, we'll see. We're just going to take a little run down here. It's kind of a play it by ear day and just see how it goes. So you're cruising along the lake kind of at cruising speed, 50, 60 kilometers an hour, and you're cruising along out here and all of a sudden you come over something like that in the water. It's just about, you know, it's low enough for the sea, underwater enough for the sea dew to go over, but Jesus, you wouldn't want to hit that with a leg of a boat hanging in the water. You would nail that very hard. Just a big solid boulder and there's a bunch of those out here. You're just rolling along and all of a sudden there's that thing under the water. <laughs> That would really do a lot of damage to the leg on an outboard motor. For the most part, sea dew can go right over top of that. But it looks scary when you're coming up and over it because you're approaching it pretty fast and all of a sudden, there it is. And there's a bunch of them out here. Love the color of the water out here. Beautiful, this aqua green color. It's really nice. All right, is it time for lunch? Back, time to head back. Yeah. Lunch time. See what we can find. Pull the sea out of the water. Go have some lunch. I think you should back up a little bit closer to the, the dock here. <laughs> back up to the soup. Yeah. <laughs> it's green pea soup. Yeah. Lovely. 
All right, we're back from where we started. 56K was what it was today out on the water uh, on Lake Huron, on uh, the Huron side of the Bruce Peninsula. So we're back, we're gonna load up, pull the machines out of the water and uh, see if we can find some place to have a little bit of lunch before uh, Phil has to head back to Sarnia area. Well, we're having a really fine hair day now after all that blowing on the on the water. Uh, we're just loading up at the parking lot now. Everybody's getting their stuff together. I found a restaurant right in town here in Sauble Beach in the area, just six minutes away. Don't know anything about it, but that's where we're all gonna head over to now, someplace called Solas Grill. And uh, have a bite to eat before Phil has to head back. So the guys are just getting their stuff assembled and we are gonna head out of here in just a couple of minutes head over to that grill. You can tell this is a real tourist town because parking is absolutely nuts in this town. Really tough to find a parking spot. Drove around and around and around this restaurant we wanted to go to and have lunch. Finally found uh, an area a little bit to the north of it and there's a little more room here. We can kind of get a few vehicles in here so I guess we'll be okay here. The town is full of stores like this. It's a very touristy town and there's the famous Welcome to Sauble Beach sign there. Anything touristy you want. Blow up inner tubes. And that's the beach that we were sea doing a long haul out, all out there. Pretty little area though. And it is a, a big beach town, lots of sand. Check this thing out up here. I was wondering what the heck it is. It looks like a monorail in the sky, but I think it's one of those uh, zip line things. Aerial Park, a Ascent Aerial Park. This would appear to be the most popular spot in the entire town. Which means the food must be good if there's this many people in here. Well, that's going to do it, guys, for another Yukon Bob video. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm not sure how exciting the ride was today, basically on Lake Huron. First time on Lake Huron for me and some of the guys from the sea -Doo Tours Riding Group. Just basically dealing with some weather issues today, but uh, always nice to get out no matter what, uh, what the excitement uh, level is. We had a good time out there today. We will see you guys on the next Yukon Bob video. Till then, take care, stay safe on the water, and we'll see you on the next one.